Hello, my name is Kevin from Serpentarium Surplus and Moonlight Mantis. Welcome and hello. And this video is about telling the difference between male and female man. Get out of here, dog, before I destroy you. Get out. Come on. All right, sorry. Um, uh, we're gonna. This is my sexing video. So I have a lot of different mantids out, and I'm gonna show you the difference. Uh, one of the tools you're gonna need. If you're like me and you're not going to need it too much, uh, if you got bad eyes, I have this nice little magnifying glass with a light on it. So I'm like, oh, look, oh, it's a boy. And I don't have to send 100 pictures to Kevin and tell if it's a boy or a girl. Um, then we have uh, little loops you can buy. They're like the coin loops. They're really nice. Keep them. You know, I have them basically sitting here. And, uh, you know, magnifying glasses and stuff. And that's because we're looking for segments. Um, and that's uh, the best way to tell male or female on mantis uh, when you're sexing them. Um, learn how to distinguish... Oh, okay, uh, uh, count, uh, segment counting. Um, can be used for pretty much all praying mantids, most. Uh, some of the flowery species. Um, mantids with a compact abdomen can be really tough to, to, uh, to, to sex because uh, it's hard to see the segments. Um, so there's a few other ways I'm going to tell you. Um, let's see. You can usually start counting segments at about an L4. On some species, you're going to get experienced enough, like on ghosts, I can tell L2s, and I'm like 95, 99% sure. I, because I just, because I've been dealing with them so long, you just know the differences. And it just comes with experience in some cases. Um, let's see here. Basic principles for the segments are uh, female praying mantises have six um, abdominal segments, while the males have eight. The final segment in the females is much larger. Um, than the uh, then otherwise, while the male um, has uh, several smaller segments in the end of their abdomen. Um, if you count segments, you should look at the underside. Don't count the segments on top of the abdomen. Look at the underside. And if you're trying to get someone else to sex it for you, take clear underside pictures. Or otherwise, they're not going to be able to help you. And bot not side view. Side view is not going to do anything. You want a nice picture right upside down. You can hold like a, a piece of plastic or something. Take a picture this way. Whatever you're going to do. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty hard for us to help you out. Um, uh, sexual dimorphism. Um, mantises, uh, a lot of them are sexually dimorphic. That means that males and females look different um, externally. And uh, it's uh, sometimes it's really, really different. Like I'm going to show you with like dead leaves and stuff. Yeah, there's just a huge difference. Um, and with some of the larger species, once they, well, most mantises become adults, it's pretty easy to tell. Um, and these would be like external differences. Um, like I mentioned before with antennae and antennas or whatever. Um, males generally have longer and thicker antenna than females. In some cases, they're feathery. Um, you know, females are like hair-like and uh, a little bit shorter. Uh, and uh, males, you'll look closer to the base, a little bit thicker. And they're uh, quite a bit longer. Um, and uh, but if, if they're not already kind of feathery and stuff. Um, uh, it's... it's uh, the, as they grow, their antennae will develop more and more. Uh, let's see here. Body size. Um, most mantids have a very clear and definite um, body, uh, like uh, different body sizes. Uh, you have some that are a bit, th like males that ha tend to be a bit thinner. And um, like uh, uh, thinner. And uh, <laughs> it's hard to describe. They're just smaller overall. Their arms are thinner. Their, their abdomens are thinner. Um, they're just, their heads are smaller. They're just a smaller, minier version, much more slender than your females. And I just really can't describe that well enough to say other than just to, you know, raise a few and you will know, you know, um, definite, there's definite body size differences when you're just looking at them. Um, uh, you know, uh, the length of their wings is another way to tell. Um, and this, this is the one of the, the the ways I like to tell, and it can make things confusing, especially if you're not counting segments, because um, it's it's really kind of close in some in some cases. The difference can only really be seen in males. Um, the uh, wings of a male praying mantis are generally longer than those of a female. Um, the wings of females reach uh, to the end of their uh, bot abdomen, so basically they kind of go like right. Um, they stop right at the end of the abdomen, maybe ju just not even really barely past that at the longest um, and that's pretty much all uh, female mantises that I can think of 
um, whereas males have a much longer, it definitely protrudes past the abdomen, uh, they're a lot longer wings because they, they fly a bit more. The females are generally um, too heavy to fly in most cases, especially when they're um, ooth bearing and stuff like that. Um, let's see, wings, antennae, body, si uh, body, body types I should say. Uh, segment counting is a big one. Use your magnifying glass with a light if you find one um, And just spend a little time the bigger they get the easier it's gonna get adults are gonna be adults are gonna be pretty obvious in Some cases and it's just mostly experience you can take very nice um, abdo Abdominal pictures for people to help you out and if you you know on forums or you know You have a friend you can email the pictures well uh, yeah, Anyone will help you sex your mantids for you until you kind of get the hang of it and sort of just kind of become skilled at it. Sexing any animal can sometimes take a little bit of practice, a little bit of time to learn and sort of master. And if you're looking at the antennas, the wings, body types, segments, um, you're, I mean, that's, that's, those are the main ways to tell. And I'm going to show you some differences right now. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Grabbing the camera again. All right. Okay. I can see it. Let's see here. Um, here we have a very nice, very uh, nice sub-adult uh, deadleaf mantis. Um, and here you can see, count the first segment, which is between the legs. There's actually one above this that kind of goes right there. It's one, two, three, four, five. And if you see, the last segment is really big. And that is segment number six. Do you see it? Pretty clear. Nice, obvious female. Very large. All right, this is a sub-adult. All right, subadult female, and here I have a male, which I'm going to show you. The male, which they tend to be a little bit flighty, is right here. Same exact species. Look at that. Look at the size difference. That's your female. Not even an adult yet. Not even fully grown. There's your male. Puny. Very, very slender, like I was talking about. And the wings um, go past the abdomen quite a bit here. See that? There's a little bit of there, that gap at where it ends right there and then it just goes on a little bit right there see that really nice little male can you believe that's the same species that's sexual dimorphism at its best uh, very obvious way here I have a nice little uh, spiny flower mantis I'm going to show you and I don't know if this will work but if you look nice and fat uh, that's a good way to tell too is uh, when you're counting segments Make sure they're eating a lot of, a lot of food. They're getting really nice and fat. It kind of stretches their segments out a little bit, and you can uh, see it a little bit better. What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you showing off, huh? Oh my gosh, they do that all the time. It's hilarious. Let's see if I can't get a close up. See that last segment? How big it is right there? It's an obvious female there, just by looking at the end. It's one, two, three. And then you just see just a very small bit of uh, that each one of these there segments has a little bit of a, a protrusion on it. It's part of their camouflage, also why they're called uh, spiny flowers. But if you count just those two, you'll see that there's exactly six. And it just kind of ends there with that, that much larger segment, just like here with this female. Really big end segment versus males. You're going to see a lot, little tiny, little tiny segmental lines going up. And uh, that's exactly how you're going to tell your males from females. And while we're at it little cat mantis here just hanging out I'm not gonna sex this for you he's just here and I thought you might like to see it um, let's move on to the adults what you know some other different species of, of adults um, larger ones here I will show you here we go this is a female if you look see that last end segment how big it is obvious female let's count can you count with me right there by the legs there's one and there's a little little segment, and then you can see one of the, um, uh, the, sort of the airways on the abdomen on the bottom there. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's it. And if you look at the wings, it's nice and even with the end of the abdomen, all right? See the hair-like antennae? Very thin. Let's look at our male, which is right here. And actually, I'm doing a breeding video for you guys, and I'm working on it right now. It, uh, is almost done. Let's see here. This is your male. There's your female. Huge size difference. Sexually dimorphic. Tiny, thin, sort of a <sighs> curious little guy. See how thin he is? Nice and slender like that. Long wings. Kind of uh, transparent. You can see where it ends there and it kind of goes on for a bit. 
versus your female right here, it's even. Nice slender body, look at the antennae, if you can kind of see it. Very, very long, quite a bit more visible versus, I mean, there's not even good lighting here, so you can't even see her antenna. And quite obviously, you can see antennae there, and they're quite a bit longer and a nice transparent. That's actually kind of cool. You can see right where the uh, abdomen ends. Nice and slender. In some species, it's quite a bit harder to sex them, but uh, it uh, is something you're just going to have to kind of learn. You're going to build your technique and uh, just uh, go that way. You can take nice pictures, and your picture should look like this. When you're sending me pictures or somebody you know that's really nice to you and you're asking and you're going to ask them to sex it for you, take these top view pics just like that. Just like that. See it? Take that picture but with more lighting and even with your cell phone and we should be able to tell, okay? When they're younger, wait for a shed, ask us again, all right? Let me set this back up here. Hello. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um... It's just a mini sexing video, and I wanted to show you just a little bit of stuff. Um, here, hold on, put you back. I got a lot of mantises out right now, and I've I've walked away and just had mantids everywhere, just like, oh my god, my violins, where'd they go? And you know, when you're breeding and stuff, you're definitely gonna wanna. This is gonna be a breeding video. I'm not gonna tell you anything. You watch the breeding video, and I'll give you some secrets. Um, sexing, eh. there there you have it. That's all I can tell you guys. Hopefully that helps a little bit. It's hard to get close-up pictures without, you know, super awesome camera equipment, but uh, I did my best. Showed you a few cool mantids quickly and some of the major differences and just read some off for you guys. Let me know what you think. Um, uh, make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, send me any messages, any more video requests that you have. Uh, species that you want to learn more about specifically if they're a little bit tricky if they're more common species we might just do like a little mini video on it your art contest entries keep sending me art and you're gonna get free mantis and starter kit right now I have devil flowers I have violins I have shields I have a lot a lot of good stuff and just don't worry if it's gonna end or not uh, it's not going to until the day I die or stop breeding mantids I will have this contest so if you're like oh man like oh, i want to win a free mantis you don't have to do one now do one in a few weeks because uh or you know video number two came out video number three video number four well every chance you if you wait a little bit or if you want to make if you want to re-enter you can send me more art i don't care how many times you win if you're an art wonderful artist or you have really great stories go ahead and write them up and send them to me um and uh you know if you have any other questions um, they'll, they'll be in my Q&A along with the art contest, which is really cool. I like hearing from you guys, to tell you the truth. It's, it's really nice to have someone to talk to. We're such a small community, and I want to help you as much as I can. And I remember starting that I did not have all these nice advantages of having somebody just say, hey, you know, here's, oh, I mean, you know, I mean, you, you could talk to people, but it was so, the information's so sporadic. You can't just say, oh, sexing video, pop, there it is, you know. It was more or less, um, okay, how do you tell? Oh, count segments, here you go. Mm, it's, you know, maybe a little more than that. And then you got to the flower mantises and some of the other guys, and they are a bit harder to sex, and you're like, oh, God, what do I do? And then you're taking all these pictures, um, and it's, yeah, this is, just go by this. Go by this is your great general guideline. And uh, let me know if it helped you. Um, please subscribe. Thank you. Thank you very much. Goodbye.